Hi P6, it's Mr McVean here and it would be great this week to receive some instructions from you and today I'm going to teach you how to write instructions and the key points for writing some good instructions on how to make a bow and arrow this week. So here we go. So we would like you to learn how to write a clear and logical set of instructions. I'd like to see from you a set of instructions for making a bow and arrow like you'd find in Stone Age times. So I'm going to show you first about how to write a set of instructions for making table football. First of all, I need to write a title. And I need to make sure that it's underlined and looking really good with capital letters too. We also have a subheading and your subheading is the bit that says you will need. And underneath there you can write bullet points of all the things that you would need. This, these are all the things I need for making table football. And I'm going to leave some space at the end down here on my list in case I want to add anything later on. So now I need another subheading and this is my method and I'm going to write out the instructions step by step using imperative verbs as shown in blue. An imperative verb is a bossy word. It tells somebody what to do like find a large piece of card or cut some green felt so that it's the same size as the card and stick it on top. Cut, stick, stick, scrunch blow these are all imperative verbs and they're all shown in blue on my instructions here i'm also going to number my steps one two three four and five so that it's easy to follow because your instructions are really for somebody else to produce the thing that you would like them to make in your case it's going to be a bow and arrow i will also leave a space for diagrams because pictures always make instructions easier to understand. So I'll also leave space for diagrams because pictures make instructions easier to understand. So underneath each one here, I'm going to leave a space for a picture. Um, so you can make your instructions on the computer or you can write them in your jotter and send a picture to me. And I'm looking for clearly numbered instructions with imperative verbs and diagrams and pictures so that I can make a Stone Age bow and arrow. But first, watch the video so that you can see how it's done. I've put this link on MS Teams and also on, on Learning Journals too. Good luck!